Greeting to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Um, today I'm going to do a video on a bunch of different things. I just want to say for the record, I got my tooth pulled out today and it was absolutely life-changing, wretched torture. People literally thought, well, boy, I was crazy. I was talking to myself a while back. I was literally like being tortured. I don't know how many years this has been going on, but I'm just telling you as a matter of a witness, I don't know if it was the Lyme disease in my tooth or if it was what originally caused the meningitis. I, I don't know. I'm just telling you it was utterly infected and I can feel it unwinding like stress and trauma in my entire body and freaked me out. I'm glad I got it done. It's weird to not have a, you know, a back tooth, but I'm only telling you this just to document for history my my life what happened. So, this video is about a number of different things. One about one is about coming crypto potential crash or rise. I don't know. I tell people just to document as a witness. I mean, this video is literally for I have the greatest discoveries of all time, but it's just to document my witness watchman on the wall. And if nobody ever listens to it, like that's okay. I just put it out there as a matter of conscience. I've heard, I've heard both people say, I've heard many people say that cryptos are all going to crash and turn to zero. I've also heard people say like it's the greatest investment of a lifetime and they could both be true. I don't give financial advice, so this is just me just talking. I suspect that the cryptos will be deliberately suppressed to zero and even negative, something I heard lately, which means people will think that they actually owe money on the cryptos and will run like crazy. It's also possible, I heard Bixweer mention, that if they create some kind of whatever it is, a traumatic event, a false flag, a real terrorist attack, whatever it is, with the press of a button, they could suppress the crypto so hard that people have these stop limit orders whereby, let's say a cryptocurrency was worth whatever it was, $80. Well, you have a fail-safe mechanism in there that says, look, if it ever gets to 20 just sell it without me being there. So they could literally squash, like step on, like you had a tomato plant where they could just step on the tomatoes and just say, Whatever happens, they pull the plug on it, they manipulate the numbers with money supply, with accounting, I mean, literally can press a button, to where you wouldn't even make the decision if a big event happened, if a crash happened. It would kick your currencies out. You'd end up selling them at a major loss. Then, the next 9-11 happens and it's a big reset. I believe if that happens, you won't be able to buy them on the other side of the reset when they go crazy big because... They'll tell you now you have to be a $10 million accredited investor in this world. You say, well, but I would have had money before if I had the, the cryptos and you didn't, you slipped. Mm -hmm. I'd hate to see that happen to somebody. At the same time, if the cryptos go crazy later, it'd be the easiest money ever made. So there'd have to be some type of like a security mechanism in there just to be like, look, you got to be sharp if you're going to make this kind of money. Okay. I personally believe, I don't know if I did this on the last video, that cryptocurrencies are literally moon currencies. I believe they're legally, at least some of them, good ones, we are already legally defined under international law as moon currencies, which is why they tell you right to your face. To the moon, to the moon, to the moon, moonshot, moon star, to the moon. Elon Musk is going to take XRP to the moon. It's not like they're hiding anything. I think these safe currencies are loose safer. Maybe for safe Arctic Jews, maybe for a Sepharim. Um, it's an amalgam. It'd be like if I just told you my name was Robert Land, but it's really Roger Lund. Hmm? A rager spat. He's a rager spat. <laughs> Roger that. Okay? Now, here's the other catch. I'm prepared. I don't have a lot of money in cryptos. I have a little bit. So if it all goes to zero, it's just like bonus. It's like some you threw seeds out in a garden somewhere in the woods, and if they come back, it's cool. I'm not fretting. I'm you know that I've just learned not to put my faith in anything other than Jesus, and it's very difficult. But that's the whole thing. Okay, so let's say there's a a, a new world order. Bad and better. They'll call it white hats and black hats. I don't want people wearing hats. <laughs> Give me balls and lies and tell me, forgive me, Jesus, my everything's wrong. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're talking to them. So, 
I still have some hair left, but it gets a little thinner. Kind of a stressful life the last, uh, I don't know, everything. <laughs> so what if the super bad guys, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, whatever you want to call them, and they're so clever, they got all, let's say they got all these cryptos and they put them inside, legally inside the moon. Now, digitally, they just exist on a computer tied to whatever assets, if any, are connected to them. So I'm prepared for, let's say, the bad guys, the really bad guys, they go, aha, with a little finger up in the air, and they say, you, who are going to take down the New World Order, all of our currencies are legally protected under space law. And now we make all this big money and we kicked you out on the other side and we got you to sell your currencies for crap and now the risk get richer and the poor get poor. That could certainly happen and that's their plan. They've already had space currency and space treaties literally before I was born. I'm 46. I'm not joking. Look up the interstellar currencies. They had, uh, I think, a nation of celestial space. They have Asgard. It's a currency right now. Uh, sorry, it's a, a, a uh, digital micronation space nation. I imagine they'll have a crypto. Now, do I know that's going to turn anything? No. I mean, in the space may be a big empty space inside of a brown paper bag. You get nothing. That's what I'm saying. I want to just simply prepare anybody who has eyes to see and ears to hear for the whole scenario. So what if the lesser bad guys, the white hat New World Order devil, <laughs> they tell the Rock Rothschilds, aha, and they have like a double super whammy, and they're like, we just quarantined all of your wealth into the moon, and now it's quarantined. Now it's sanctioned. We, why we put you on Galactic Federation sanctions. <laughs> And then all the rich people's money gets all just put into a nice big giant goose egg vault. And crypto, by the way, means hidden vault. So the moon's a big hidden vault in the sky. But yes, it's hollow like a pearl of the earth. And I just saw something the other day. It's like an animal. I mean, it's clearly something much bigger. Could be like a piezo crystal. The dude would say maybe it's like an anode and a diode where they're creating some kind of like a, like a welder's arc. Has to do with frequencies and the whole bit. You know, I don't pretend to know it all. Um, but it's like a pearl inside the earth. That's what God showed me. It, it burst out like the egg, and I think I did that in the last video. So I want people to consider that, you know, like Elon Musk has his dogs on Mars. Is that Mars currency? I'm not saying it is. I think it is, but who said Mars is not also <laughs> like here? Meaning... He, in fact, he even said that word on Saturday Night Live. You can't make it up. He even said the word hustle. Okay, well, maybe this means he's really busy. Okay, I'm preparing this video just for people to say, you know what, I'm looking at things very differently because the scenarios are such where you have no idea what I just gave you. I don't know what I just gave you because I don't pretend to know the outcome of this event. If you told me five years from now, cryptos were all zero, I'd say, okay, I can see that. What about this? What if Christine Lagarde shows up and says, due to the fourth majeure and the two tsunamis and the wars, the only way to make save the world and make the numbers work is to put three zeros added. Multiply all value of cryptocurrencies times zero, 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 a thousand. Say, well, that's crazy. No, it's macroeconomics. If it were to happen, I don't know it was. Nobody told me that. But Klaus Schwab at the reset last year, he's sitting behind so I could just look it up, just put Klaus Schwab reset world economic form. It says zero zero zero, like the letter O, fifteen. I S is ISIS, fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. But zero 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 are the O's in S O L O M O N Solomon. Whose star I trademarked. Because I am less than a crab sandwich, hold the bread. Without Jesus, who's so badass, he uses me to do things like that. Yes, really. So, what if they do it three times? Because that's a triple. Solomon, I'm not joking. They, Jim Will used to talk about these two consecutive devaluations of the dollar. Um, what was his name? Biden. Remember when he fell three steps forward and above to the plane? A new, think about that, a new plane of galactic currency consciousness. I'm not telling you to buy or don't buy crypto. 
I don't know that anybody even listens to this. I do these things to document to God that the gifts that I have, I didn't hide my light under bush. He never told me to make it fancy packaging. Jesus specifically does not want me to cater to your flesh with editing and fancy software. Make them, it has pretend, it, it, pretend you're listening to it on a little kid's fake telephone across the way and you're just lucky you could just hear it. Not lucky, blessed. It's the information. I could be in a jail cell or kicking it on the street. Smoking a blunt, you heard me right next to my buddies. This is the dude. This is the this is the whole thing about my channel is I'm sitting on a bus stop next to you. I'm kicking it down in Fed Park in Kansas City, and I'm just I got nothing left in the tank, but I love it. Here's here's how it all went down. <laughs> okay. So can you imagine if they really can I've never heard anybody say this, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I mean honestly, <laughs> if I had bet my life right now one way or the other. I'm betting on. I'm betting on all three, three thirty-three because if you count the zeros, it's three, 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 and three thirty-three is a triple, triangle, triangle, hexagram, mark of the beast, the star of Solomon, zero, 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 as O and O M O N. Does that mean it's going to happen? No. I do not believe that's going to happen. I mean, I'm sorry, I do believe it's going to happen, but I'm not. You know, putting the seal of God on it. Um, do I think there'll be great wealth in cryptos? Yeah, I do. You know, I also think it's going to have, I think it's going to end up being not just walled cities, but it's going to end up being like a crypto cult where people are getting tattoos and naming kids like the Texas Longhorns, the Kansas Wild, you know, like we're with the, you know, the Javi Yard, whatever they call them. I don't know, I think they used to be the Crimson or something. I think they're the Harvard Crimson. But whatever it is, instead of the Montreal Canadiens is your idol, now it's Litecoin or Bitcoin or Apollo or snot nose coin, I'm not joking. I mean, they have song, they have poo coins, what they call them, these crap coins, the really small coins that could have a lot of space in them. They could just be really garbage. I mean, they're literally monetizing everything. And I saw a guy do a video today where he even said they're monetizing everything. And he was totally coded. It was on Michelle Gibson's site. Check it out. They're all coding this stuff. They're Moors. Okay, that's one thing. I also want you to wake up to the fact that there's demon masks all over the place. What I mean by this, take somebody's logo, flip it to the left and flip it to the right. Both of them will show you a giant mask. If you look at this MetaMask logo I'm going to put up here, look at the fox's eye. Okay, now look up top to the fox's ears and pretend those are the eyes. Can you see the demon staring at you? Extend the horns of the devil past the ears of the fox. But the ears are the eyes of the over-creature that the subconscious mind sees. So if you look at Scott Johnson from Contending for Truth, Mr. Christian, well, both of his logos, the shield logo, you flip it to the left, it looks like a giant mask. You flip it to the right, it looks like a giant's mask. Just like there's a YouTube channel called Africa Rising. It's a literal flip it to the left and double it like a pancake. Just flip it like you've got, you know, however they do that. Right down the middle, just flip it the other way and add two of them to get Boom, done. Flip it the other way, done. The laurel reef, if you flip it both ways, it looks like a set of eyes. Just like on that Saudi Arabian old real, the little swords are the eyebrows right over it. The palm tree is the like medulla oblongata brainstem, and the top of the palm tree is the, is the expanded consciousness. You can see the nose under the crisscross of the swords. I want you to do the research because, number one, I've just got nothing left in the tank, and at some point I'll, you know, if I do get rich, then I'll hire people to do all the fancy everythings and all. Man, I'll go berserk on the videos. Right now, I'm just giving you the best I can because I love you and I want to see just people wake up. I can't help you do anything, but just... Oh, by the way, Fish's logo, Rock Band Fish. The devil were they... I mean, Trey made the sign of the devil on New Year's. On a, this isn't like they just make something up. Okay, well, look at the Fish logo. Imagine it's a set of almost like underwater goggles. Move them both ways. You can usually see like the bubbles might be like the corpus callosum, you know, the, the corpus callosum, like the rising consciousness through the middle half and half of Solomon. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh, my God. oh man. I mean, it is, it's hard to see. I see, I mean, it's hard, it's hard, it is a burden knowing this stuff and 
Some people know. Like the other day, one of my brother's buddies, you know, a friend of ours, Derek, he was said something like 10 years ago, you, you, Roger, you told me that the Taco Bell logo, which is funny because I'm looking at it in YouTube right now, that little bell ringer of notifications, it's not a whole lot different. I told them it was the Hoodwink. And they even have like a little crypto logo called Win K. It's like wink, 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 nod, nod, wink, wink. In fact, they probably will have a nod and nod from the land of nod for K and all. That's hysterical. That's how they do it. They, I mean, I'm not joking, folks. They have a tits and an ass. It's called Ass Coin, Australian Safe Shepherd, and Tata. They got a Van Cat sperm, a Van Cat egg. You want to make Kayla? I don't know. I don't know. That may be just like the biggest scam you've got. Well, the whole world's a scam and it's just... A scam until the end of the Ponzi scheme, and then the next beat keeps rolling, moving on. I mean, that's like the nature of this money creation. I tell you these things because I'm literally giving you a like trillion dollar uh, uh, education. I am so far ahead of people in terms of this stuff that uh, a PhD would laugh out loud at me, and uh, I could dumb myself down. Now, some of those PhDs are brilliant, and I don't pretend to know what they know. But the difference between me and them is I will sit there and listen to them, bake popcorn, and thank them for teaching me. Not realize at them if I know a some, if they know a something I don't. So I want people to learn. Learning the how is more important than the what. So instead of just showing you one picture of a giant mask, look for it, and it's usually that it's not confirmation bias. Look at the MetaMask logo. I'm just going to put a picture of the logo. You don't see it's meant to look at a fox. Well, the little cross in between the upper ears, which I'm telling you now are the eyes, it looks like a sign of the devil, like you're making the sign of the devil. It's a whole new little like half and half platform thing. It First of all, it's creepy. And fox, by the way, is a 666. F is the letter 6. O is the 15th letter, 156. Text Mars just to do that. All in on I don't I don't care. Sue the snot out of me. But by the way, when you people snoo, sue the snot out of me, I'm going to court and I'm telling them am I lawfully required to participate in these proceedings? I'm telling you you're gonna hear a pin drop and the judge pee his pants. Cause I don't think that I mean I really don't think they can tell you no. And I really don't think they can tell you yes. And if they throw the court out, if throw the case out on a blah blah blah. Not only will the defense attorney, like, both sides will know the systems of fraud. The stenographer will know the systems of fraud. The bailiff will know he's working for a fraud. Every one of them is going to have this, oh, my God, dun, 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 and they pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. So it's going to be funny. I mean, it's just hysterical. Okay. Um, the rock band Goose, we went and saw them play in Tennessee. It broke my heart because they're one of my favorite bands ever. And I just saw the logos and everything. The, the G is a capital cursive L, like from I love Lucy, Lucifer. Goose, capital L, Luce. It's a homophone, Lucifer. I'm looking at it right now because it came on the field. I mean, I would just love to play with them. I might, you know, I'm just for the record, I even sent them a message telling them I saw all this stuff and I still love them. I still want them to go to hell. The logo for goose is good sex. The lowercase s is a lowercase s is a lowercase d. Just put it in your mind. The cursive lowercase e. You literally just have to one add one tiny little flash, and it says good sex. And the reason I knew that never made sense to me is because this is one of the baddest bands on planet Earth right now, and it's the lamest, cheesiest name I ever heard in my life. I mean, the whatevers would be a cooler name. Goose is the single name, unless you know it's code for Ego Arose. They have a song called Echo of Arose. Ego. See the E? Go. Goose. A-R. 118, One Blood of Lucifer. Ego Arose. They have a song called the Echo of Arose. That's another, like a cognate. Just like I said, if I was Robert Land, you'd be like, it's still Roger Lund. It's Rieger Chat. That's still Roger that, and I see you. Get it? You got a good, get it? Got a good. So, it's also gold, C-S-E-E. -E. It's also Solomon Goose that laid the golden egg. The golden age is the golden egg is a zero point. I can't make this up. I can't tell you how much it pisses me off that all the Christian music sucks. And every good band I like are a bunch of devil wars. And that's a fact. That should make credibility with anybody who cares because it's just true. I would love to tell you all these Christian bands are badass. I've never seen one, ever. 
They claim to be Christians, like Nun Creek claims to be Christians now. Sarah's album called I'm With Her is I'm With Hera, the false god. I'm with Hermes. Half and halfers. These people are laughing at you, and I don't like to see, as much as I get frustrated with how like, basically stupid people are, I understand I'm stupid. That's why God gives me super genius talent like no one's ever seen in history. Zero arrogance is in me. Zero. I would be so happy right now if the whole world repented and found Jesus. I would be the single happiest man ever if all I had to do was die, get beheaded, or hang from a tree. And you say, yep, that's it. He really loved us. Now we're all getting repented in the kingdom of heaven, period. That would be the easiest way to spend my life and it would be it would be too easy. But that is my heart. I mean, that would be, I wish it was that simple. And I certainly don't want to die. I thank Jesus for pulling this tooth out of me. I'm literally just like, I don't know the neurotoxins that are coming out of my, uh, I'm going to even walk just a little bit. Like I'm just, I don't, it's almost like when people are like heroin X and they come down or like, you know what it is? Like when people come down on oxy pills and they're all, ah, that's how it is. So, I'm giving you an education here like no one's ever seen. I promise. I'm not bragging on anything. I'm not. I want to see good things for humanity. I'm deeply frustrated with people who they want to wear the mask. And when they scan that temperature, do you know how bad I feel? Because I'm already acclimated to them speaking Taking a scanner to my forehead, that's what they're going to use to scan for the mark of the beast. It's going to be a holograph. It's going to be your like you know a QR code fused in. Look at the last video I did with this red ruby hexagram mark of the beast. So you won't see people walking around with a red hexagram on their forehead. But if you take a scanner to it, it'll go zing, 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 zing. And it literally, I'm not joking, let's extrapolate to the future. It very well will like, pop up an avatar like Princess Leia in Star Wars when she goes, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Well, they believe in like these Inu coins, these Shiba Inu coins. Inu is like, when they say namaste, like the God in me recognizes the God in you. I don't want that. That's garbage. That's humanity. It's man united. Allied humanity. They had this thing called Manchester United on the TV and then they put man united for short. I did a video on that too, their satanic logo. There's a call Man United. The funny thing is behind the scenes, though, remember I told you they don't show all of it? It'll be Woman United. The W-O is hidden. I'm not joking. It's 2222 VV Dragon Horns plus 93 Thelema, I-C, alphanumerically, and the, the distance to the sun. That was looked that up. So Aleister Crowley was in their 93 is there. The will, the ego of man. Just like, you know, uh, iodine is a 53rd element. I would consider that an I too. And nine is the letter I. It's the Ayn Rand worship it. Now, I want people to understand as a individuals politically, I want the I, not a we. Because you're an I and I'm an I and we're not a we. And we're not supposed to be. I have to own myself compared to you and you have to be sovereign compared to me so that I can surrender to Jesus directly to him and you can surrender to Jesus directly to him and nobody gets in the way and that's the only way to be redeemed, separating church and state. I know I'm saying, I'm just, I don't even have any more to put out all different videos on this. So I'm just going to put, like, you're just going to have to come find me right here. Just not, I mean, just, just keep listening. Vladimir Putin died October 7th, 2007. This guy, Jim Willie, he's in on it. They give little clues. Well, at the time I heard that, I had just like within an hour as the Holy Spirit had made happen, saw that Vladimir Putin was born on October 7th, and I remember thinking, you know, the rest of the world, they switch the day first. So, just like we say the 4th of July, we write it 7-4. But the 4th of July is a 4-7, the rest of the world. That's why I say the 4th of July. Okay? So, like, Cinco de Mayo is means 5th of May. So, that would be, you know, it's still a 5-5, five five, but you get the point. All right? So, 7-10-7, 2007, the seventh day of October is seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns. On his fifth, 55th birthday, the global communist themes 
of five, the star. That's the five senses. They deceive you through the flesh senses. And it's basically communism is Satanism through forms of government. It's really that simple. <clears throat> and the other five is the clenched fist. That's the bound collective. So it's lassoing people together with communism and deceiving them through the five senses. Five, five. And in the occult, they believe there's 55 celestial realms. I saw that on Wikipedia. You can look that up if you want. And they believe there's one here at the bottom. 55. So I believe that they probably think that like 155th of themselves going to burn hell. But 55, 55 out of the 56, <clears throat> you know, they're going to rule the space cadet world for... They're all false. They think they're the 144,000. They think they're the man-child. They think they're Melchizedek. Ask them if they repent like Roger on all the way. What does that mean all the way? Forgive me, Jesus, my everything's wrong and always will be. I don't always deserve to go to hell unless in a crap sandwich hold the bread without the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ of Calvary, the only cure for the human condition. Anybody not speaking like that up front has no business claiming to even know anything about Jesus or representing him or speaking for him. Thank you. Yes, really. <clears throat> These people are half and halfers. And I want all of him and none of me. When God does give me the money someday, I'm telling you, I'm getting a tour bus called the All of Him, O-L-I-V-E-H-Y-M-N. And I don't know if I need a license plate or it'll be sovereign plates or whatever, but it's going to say, you know, it'll probably be like O-L-V-H-Y-M-N or something. But I want all of him, A-L-L-O-F-H-I-M. Because everything else is crap without him. So, well, who the heck's this guy claiming to be Putin walking around, Roger? Well, I'm glad you asked. His name's Chinggis Khan. I know you don't want to hear that either. Just accuse me of being a cosmic banker and not a conspiracy theorist, because that's what this is. Replace the word conspiracy theorist with cosmic banker. You're either good at it or not, but that's what this is. Literally just place, replace the words. Like if you're at hockey, you're not a putter in a black puck and a somethinger. You're a hockey player. You're either bad or you're good. If you're good at this cosmic banking thing, you don't know what's going on. You can't see what's happening. You don't know your backside from the hole in the ground. You're a bad cosmic banker. That's what this is. Literally just replace the word conspiracy theorist with your cosmic banker because that's what that is. There's a blood bank, a sperm bank, a seed bank, a river bank. Bank means bench like the judge because the judge is the banker because he who has the gold makes the rules. Yes, really. Chinggis Khan. I absolutely need to tell you. I, there's, there's, I'm t I know this doesn't... Why do you think he's so good at judo? If that dude's not supernatural badass. You say, well, what? That's how it works. They create a zero point where the old one leaves like the closer. In baseball, I'm America the individual on the pitcher's mound. So let's say they got seven good ins out of one, but they're like, dude, we need to... Imagine he like went back to the bullpen, did a ritual, and sent him up to the heavenlies, meaning they... Sacrifice them. They, however, they kill them. They all die by suicide by proxy. Meaning, all the famous people die when their number comes up, and they just know ahead of time. So they weren't murdered. They sold their soul for that. But they don't get a consultation, as far as I know. I mean, it's possible if they can just keep being evil and being evil. Maybe the devil says, "Hey, well, now we'll talk. If you have more money to me, you get ten more years." I don't know. But some of them, it's just like, no, when we, when we, when you were born, you're one of ours, and we talked about this. You're, you got 11 years guaranteed, but after that, boom, you're born on this point, you're going to die on this state because you were born here, and this is how the money's created, and now we get paid blood. That's why it's in circulation. That's how it works. So, imagine they bring in the closer, and you don't know that's a twin. It's not a twin, it's not even a clone, it's, is it, I really believe it's Chinggis Khan. By the way, England, Elon Musk looks like he's ready to Chinggis Khan. Do you know that it's like one out of a hundred and couple, or a couple hundred people on the planet are related to Chinggis Khan? So you say, well, that doesn't count. Why did he get the sword that I believe is the sword of Chinggis Khan? That's how they pronounced it because Chinggis Khan, Khan, K H A N, Khan is Cain, the ruler, like Kublai Khan, the second one that came by, it was probably Solomon. It's probably, I mean, Chinggis Khan, boy, I expect Cain to be a lot bigger than him. The spirit behind that would be Cain, and the spirit behind Kublai Khan would probably be Solomon. I don't know if those are actually people. Cain's going to show up looking like the Catholic version of Jesus. Satan's going to show up looking like Jehovah. The Richard Branson, you know, uh, kind old gentleman look. 
I mean, really, look at like Richard Branson with like angel light on him. And that's what Jehovah will show up claiming to be like the wise. President Snow, everybody loves you, God the Father. That's the devil. And then Eve, the goddess in the lovey dovey. Yeah, that's the whole Babylon slits. God only knows how many babies she killed. Like little little done. If they did put three sets of three zeros on the currencies, it wouldn't be just a three, three, three. It would be a billion times, which is one, nine zeros. And 19, alphanumerically, is a I. And that's the code for Islam because the 19 goes through the Quran. That's a fact. Oh, by the way, that band Goose, I don't, I didn't look at, man, it sucks. There's such a great band. It just kills me. It really does. I never wanted to say this about any of these people. Um, they had a, band, a song called 726. I, I haven't looked it up. That's a dead giveaway, folks. It's halfway between 666 and 786. 786 is sex. 786. Sex. Well, why would they do that? Because 666 is 786. That's why Castro had like the July 26 movement, 726. Um, 786 is 120 plus 666. The 120 is two-thirds, 66.6% .6 of an equilateral triangle. 60, 60, 60. You can drop the zero, zero, zeros for Solomon and get a 666. But if it's 180 degrees, then 120 is two-thirds of 180. So it's two-thirds, 66.6% 6 .6 of an equilateral triangle hidden 666. If you drop the zeros and count 60, 60, 60, it's hidden. It's super genius. I'm not even claiming to be anything about it. I mean, I have a gift. I don't know how to do a lot of stuff. I mean, this is how it works when you study. It just pops right up, man. It just gets easier every day just because you just get chops. It's like learning Spanish, you know. You hablo un poquito, pero if I get used to my ass in Mexico, I guarantee you in a couple weeks, I'm either in a ditch somewhere. We don't know what happened to him or he's, you know, that's it. <laughs> uh, so there you go that's your 720s halfway to 786 so even show up claiming to be the whore of Babylon so I went into the whole thing oh it gets better I'm just going into it all I don't care Obama died on his 57th birthday um, I got that I'll just tell you Jim really also had emailed me and said something like I, I he's in on it I told him I trademarked Mark the Beast what can I do I see his goat Told him, he said something like, well, that'd be really... Oh, I told him about how Obama was related to Joko Widodo. He's like, yeah, he died a couple of years ago. So the new Obama, his 57th birthday, his triple 19th birthday. Remember, he's Muslim, 319. 57th birthday, 2019. There's your... 2019 is 119, which is Unity Quran. That's the code for the Quran 19 from 1999. <laughs> When Prince says he wants a Pyrex, 1999. 19 is the code for the Quran. There's 99 names for Allah. This is Muslim. So it's a Quran Allah, one Quran, two, 2019. 20 is like the letter T balance, 19 AI, Islam. So, well, who the heck is this dude walking around claiming to be Obama, Roger? I believe he's Nelson Mandela's son. I know. I'm t just look at Mandela and then look at the new Obama and think to yourself, you know, maybe Mandela and Queen Secret from Thailand, something like that. I'm not joking. Because he has that black Thai skin, just like the first Obama, who was the same <laughs> blood brother of Joko Widodo. Look it up there. I mean, it's a spitting image. So, I'm just going to put the cover of the MetaMask on here, just so you can see it looks like a demon. Literally, maybe 10 people will watch this. But I told you the truth. Literally, there is nothing like this in human history or the entire cosmos Everyone spoken like stuff on this video. I put it out there because I love you, not because I'm showing off. I'm and I literally there's like four or five people that have ever given me money. I thank you for it. I really do. I do this just because this is my job, and I'm a watchman on the wall, and I want you to know the truth, and it's on my conscience just to put it out. And what do you do with it? I have no idea. I do not know the cryptos are going to go all the way down. If you hold them, you should. Spiritually, God would want you to not let it ruin your life with the up and downers because you see it and you feel like, oh, my numbers, uh, numbers went up and numbers went down. You, you literally, it would be killing you to make a few thousand, few million. I mean, you want to make a few million dollars, but 
How many times do you check the cryptos a day? I mean, God convicts me of that. I still am, I'm in my Bible every day in some way. But how many times you check your cryptos a day? How many times you look up God's word? You know, that doesn't make me feel good when I have to answer that question. Because I look them up both, but I, you know, lately I've been looking up the cryptos more, just trying to, like the rest of us, we're trying to survive. I hope everybody repents. I put these videos out, you know, knowing that they could just be turned down any time, but they also could save somebody's life if they're starving or poor. I mean, I want you to repent. I want violence for blacks and whites. I don't want police officers hate. I mean, I, I can't stand what they've turned into. I still love you. I really do. I don't want you to go to hell. None of that's going to make me feel good to see anybody go to hell. So, that's where I'm at. There was one other thing I was going to go to, just because I, I, mean, I really try to give you everything I can. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to do this video now, too, because I don't want to do more than I just... The other day, my brother and I were just hanging out, whatever, and we looked at the news, and it said, you know, Roe v. Wade could be overturned. I want Roe v. Wade overturned. Because logic dictates as such. That's why I'm prime sovereign of the cosmos. This is not a joke, folks. I have the I've literally done better than every human that will ever exist put together theoretically, conceivably possible. That's how great Jesus is. He just said, here, I'm going to send you Roger. He's going to teach you this cool stuff. Some point, people are going to get it. Right now, it's literally like... I do, it's like telling people the truth. It's like you're acting like you try to rip a fingernail. I'm sorry for that uh, graphic, whatever. It's, I mean, I just that's how it is. That's how much they like vehemently hate you. And I'm raw, man. If you tell me something that I don't think is true, do you know I'm not really raw. I just tell you I think it's wrong. It's not. But I don't have that same like arrogance people do. If you told me whatever it is, something's wrong. The capital of Ohio's Toledo or some garbage, I'd be like, uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's Columbus. Not as you think. You know, I mean, it's it, it's so immature. It's crazy. I'm not saying I'm ever getting immature. I'm just, man, it's it, it's an attitude. It's a hatred of anything conscious. That's exactly the opposite of how we should be. So, I believe it'll probably be, I haven't run the numbers from the first Roe v. Wade, but it'll be probably, I suspect it'll be June 22nd because it said in June of next year. So it'll be 622-2022. That's 121, 79 years, a dead giveaway, AU 79 is 121, 79, the symbol for gold, to 622-2222. Why'd it be 622? Because Islam was founded in 622. That's her signature. And if it was six, if it was uh, 623, that's when the queen, uh, at some point, the queen's death is going to be based off of June 23rd because they've already prefigured that it was going to be a national holiday. So if the queen dies on that, I thought it was going to be, a, you know, whatever it was a few years ago and it was 33666 from her, from her birthday and it was June 23rd. I think it was, you know, I don't know. 2018 or something. So it very well may be. So let's say it's June 23rd, 2022. No, I don't know. I don't know how that all works. Um, could it be this year? Sure, I don't know that. I'm just telling you, They, but June 23rd is the 174th day of the year, which is IC, because it's 11955. So 1 is the letter A, but it looks like the letter I. 19 is the letter S, and 5, 5 is E, E. 1, 19, there's that Quran again, I, C, I, S, E, E. So, I mean, could it be any other date? Sure, it certainly could. The hexagram 621. But I suspect it's going to be right in there. And what happens is, why am I telling you this? I'm, I'm the single most pro-life person ever in human history, ever, outside of Jesus. The problem is that it's going to be pimped, manufactured to start the next civil war. It'll be depopulation control because they know it'll just, people don't want the answer. Well, I have the answers on my site. There's no such thing as abortion. It's the murder of preborn children. There's nothing else to say. The Supreme Court is totally uncredible. I'm not some loser. I'm not your criminal. I'm not your girl beater. I'm not your crazy. I'm not your guy living with his parents. 
has nothing to do with anything. I'm prime sovereign of the cosmos. I've had the greatest discoveries of human history theoretically conceivably possible since 2003. I'm not responsible for you failing to value me properly or perceive me properly. I'm not responsible for you picking me up, throwing me like trash, and then telling me I'm trash because someone else told you I'm trash. That has nothing to do with me whatsoever. Science proves that life starts at conception, response to stimuli, reproduction, respiration, movement, and growth are the criteria for life. Mother owns her own body. I mean, she can kill herself. I don't want you to. But she has a right to if she's terminally ill. You don't get to, you own an apartment building that you rent out to. You don't get to knock down the door and blow off the head of a, a little child or a little baby inside the apartment building just because you own the building. That's your body. Okay? So if you've been raped, you kill the father, not the baby. That makes you worse than the rapist. Yes, I have a video on that. And you're not defined by a female. You're defined by a stick figure under the law. You're a sovereign individual. Your gender has nothing to do with it. If a man had a baby up his butt, it wouldn't give him the right to chop his head off, spill his blood, throw it away, put it in some vaccine, and say, I am man, hear me roar, how dare you, I own my own self, I own my own body. You'd hang every man who did that. I don't want anybody to hang, I don't want violence. I hate it, I hate it, I don't even like seeing men fight, the older I get, the more I'm like, oh man, I just don't, I mean, I just, I hate it. It's just not cool. It's never like, hey, this is really going to be fun. Like, yeah, you can feel like a demon in the air and people get all creepy and run away. Like, it's horrible just watching it. I don't want that. Bible says we're going to beat our swords into plowshares. And if we as a human species can't resolve these, all of these issues, and then God's given me all the major issues on here. God's going to abort us and the Illuminati New World Order. I don't want that to happen. Only His grace is going to make this happen. I have no idea. This, this video here, folks, will get probably four or five, maybe one or two likes, maybe a comment, maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 people will watch it. And I'm okay with that, as frustrating as it is. Because my job is just to tell you the truth out of love. Uh, I don't normally go along with the videos, but if I'm giving you nuggets after Revelation, man, folks, I mean, this is something like if you were a trillionaire and you knew what I was giving you, you'd pay me a billion dollars for this and you'd hope nobody ever wants it ever again. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Truth plus love equals life.